Hey. So, um, yeah, Linda told me to meet you here. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, good, how about you? I'm James. Nigel. Nice to meet you. Uh, so she said, like, you are working with her for a while, uh, with mm -hmm. documents and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, some sleuthing. Yeah. And, uh, she said that you'd like some ideas on everything. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, I'm sure you've figured out that it's just a parallel dimension. Yeah. But it's, um, it's not multiple worlds theory. Because mm. this thing is running, like, literally parallel to our universe. It's like, it's another layer, not mm. a separate thing. Alright. I found it cooler than I thought it was. It's like, I know Robert described it as, like, multiple layers to it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's, mm. um, it's just another, um, I mean, it's not an entirely separate entity, but it's still another universe, kind of. Hmm. It's just, an, it's just, it is, it is connected to our universe, but it's inaccessible by us because we're, um, we can't perceive it, because we can only perceive four dimensions. Yeah. But, um, whatever shit that's, like, spooking you. Um, can perceive more than four dimensions. Yeah. Uh, would, would you happen to know, like, what made it? Like, how did this kind of thing come to be at all? Like, the other dimension? Yeah. It just is. Like, it's just part of the universe. Hmm. But, um, apparently, the whatever life that exists within it is accessing... Well, I mean, it... Inherently accesses it, but I mean it's interacting with our plane of reality. I don't know what its agenda is, but um, it's always existed. Hmm. If it's like, if it shouldn't be accessible to me, then why are the gateways like able to bring me to it? Well, I mean it's not inherently accessible to you, but the gateways. First of all, the are weird because it should, there should be a lot of energy to open them that I think must be from the other, the other plane of existence. Um, but you're able to access it because when you're being forced, forced into it and you're being forced to perceive, uh, well, first of all, when you're in it, you can't perceive the entire, the entirety of that reality because it's, it's, well, you're not seeing the forest for the trees. You're you're seeing you're seeing the reality when you go through, but you're not seeing what like the director sees. Like, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. like, let let's say you're a three dimensional being, and you enter our world. You would be in a place, but you wouldn't like be able to see time move. Or let's say you're a let's say you're a um, Let's say you're a one-dimensional thing, so you're just a dot. Then yeah. you enter a two-dimensional world. You'd see dots, but you wouldn't see the line. Because you can't perceive the line, so you're just a dot. But you've always seen dots. Okay. Or a, a three, a two-dimensional thing in a three-dimensional world, you would perceive it as sec two, second dimensional, but it's actually three-dimensional. So there's more there, but you just like literally can't see it. So Because your brain isn't developed enough. So is that why the... um. And the camera can't perceive it either, that's why you're getting weird, like, effects. Yeah, so... Like, your camera literally doesn't understand what it's taking in. All right. Or at least use part of what it's taking in. That's why it doesn't make sense. Okay, so... Would that and, mean that the, um... Yeah. The ability to, like, teleport or whatever, that, like, not only the director, but also, like, Robert had, is that just because, like, I can't see what they're, like, tunneling through then? No. No, it's just it, the t space works differently. Okay. So space can be warped through hmm. that. All right, so that's just malleable for them then. Basically, Compared yeah. to us. It's malleable for anyone, but that's just how that dimension operates. Okay, then. It's just, it just connects to our universe in all sorts of different ways that don't really make sense with our physical laws. Hmm. It's wormholes, you know. Yeah. 
So you said like the you said like the passage between those is just because of like a bunch of energy. Yeah. So I area. don't know about that actually because I mean I know that there has to be energy somewhere, but to create like fucking portals between dimensions. Yeah. You and to manipulate time as it was shown it to do. Yeah. You need a massive amount of. It's either negative mass or negative energy. Sorry, I'm a little rusty on this. Um, mm. I think it's negative, um, negative mass. But mm. a lot of energy regardless. And um, it manipulates, it changes fucking everything. So, like, a, a portal, like, would mess with everything. Electromagnetism, gravity, everything. Sorry, yeah. what was your question? The, what, my, my question was, like, so would that mean, like, something like the director, like, enacted something around those areas that the gateways are now. What do you mean? Like, is the director the source of that? Of the gateways? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. I, I have no way to know. They could yeah. be natural, they could be artificial. Um, I do have an idea that I've been waiting to do, uh, Eric and I. Uh, we plan on pretty soon, uh, like, we have this idea where, you know, you know, like the mask that we found? Yeah. Uh, you know how, like, at first it was, like, just, like, distorting the camera when I put it close to it? Mm -hmm. And later on, when I put it on while I was sleepwalking, it, like, sent me outside of my house. Yeah. Do you think that has, like, enough energy to do that? Um. If, like. No. I mean, maybe. Hmm. I don't think so. The amount of energy that it it takes to travel between universes is, is more than humans ever been in their lifetime. So unless it's, uh, well, the mask itself would just create massive distortions. Okay. In space time. Okay. So but that I, wouldn't, might be, I wouldn't be able to hold it then. Yeah, I mean, the, right. well, I don't. Well, first of all, we're dealing with laws of physics. I don't exist in our world, so kind of anything's possible. But it's possible that the mask itself isn't the thing that's triggering, like, the portal to open. But it could be, like, a remote to a different thing that's opening. Okay. So it might be, like, some sort of interdimensional remote. I don't know. I'm just theorizing here. But yeah, because, like... Like, it's like, like, if you have a door, you have, like, a little button that you hold. You press it, door opens. That's even the mask is, and then the door is just in the altered dimension. Okay. And that's why we're not seeing the massive distortions okay, that, that a, a gateway would cause. Yeah, because, like, Eric and I have a plan to, um... We're trying to figure out, like, how Robert, like, mastered use of the gateways, like, to mm -hmm. his advantage. Like, you saw in the earlier videos when he, like, teleported in, in and out of my room and all that. Yeah, I think like, I that. Uh... We're trying to figure out how he went and did all that, because um, he noted in his journal that he like found a way to control the gateways at will. I mean, he's just using the yeah, he's just somehow accessing the other dimension. Yeah. I don't know how he's doing and, that without like incredibly advanced technology. Yeah, he still has he still has something from the other dimension that he's using. Yeah, and he also noticed that uh, when Eric is in his like pursuer state, he's able to do the same thing, as in like he must have something. Yeah, there must there must. Wait, what brings on his pursuer state again? Does he, like, get any new stimuli, or does he just be, just, like, like, does he put something on, or does he get, like, some sort of object, or does he just kind of go? I'll, I don't really know that much about it. I know the therapists thought that this was just, like, dissociative identity disorder, but I honestly think it's more, because I've noticed, for one, he is, like, insanely strong when he's like that. Maybe that's just like hysterical strength or something like that. Mm, probably. Like, I mean, if I had to guess, I'd be a therapist. If yeah. I had to guess, I mean, the it's kind of an Occam's razor thing. Yeah, but he um he no, constantly well, like yeah, sorry, go ahead. yeah, like you know, in the video where Julie came back, he like warped for one into my house mm -hmm. and then immediately left when I wasn't looking, along with Julie. Did you ever consider that he might not be the one that's that's warping himself in and out? That I mean, he, either he might be using some, some some sort of other remote type thing, like the like the mask, or that some sort of external force is warping him in and out. So you're saying he's under control? 
I have no idea. I'm just saying that. I'm I, no, not even under control. I'm just saying like the pursuer. I mean, Eric might be do, in, doing this dissociative thing, mm -hmm. and then the director might be like, hmm. and like move him in space and time. Okay, or, that, that makes sense. Or, um, I mean, I think the director is probably doing has. Okay, whether the pursuer is literally Eric turning into an interdimensional being, I don't think so. I think it literally is some sort of dissociative thing, but the director might be using that to his advantage to use Eric as a pawn when he's in his dissociative state. Hmm. So when... And also the dissociative state might be brought on by the director. Yeah. I don't think that Eric is changing to a different sort of life form or mutating or anything. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. I just think, I like... Think, I think it's just something brought on by the director and then director yeah. is, like, moving him yeah. around. Yeah. It it it, yeah. it would make sense that like he's in some sort of like hysterical like adrenaline state, which causes which him to like. Which by the director. So yeah, probably yeah. one way or another, the director is controlling him. Yeah. When he's in that state. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. The reason I bring this up is uh, we're planning on heading to some of the gateways with. Well, I'm going to be carrying around the uh, mask mm -hmm. that Robert like used to own. And Eric's gonna bring his mask and his uh, kukri. Cause those I are did, the two. I did tag along and bring some like actual like equipment. All right. Cause I'd love to study that. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out like if that triggers anything with yeah. the gateways, like. Well, I'm sure it would. If it's something with from the other dimension, then yeah, I don't see why any reason why it wouldn't cause some sort of reaction. Yeah. We're um, we're not sure if like since the pursuer always has a mask on, so. Well, it's just yeah. I think it's just Eric's being controlled by the director. Yeah. Which, I mean, I'm not even really sure what the director is. I mean, I, I guess he's sort of like interdimensional life form, but like... Well, I mean, he might not even be interdimensional, he might just be from his dimension, that's, and he's just trying to manipulate this dimension, so I guess he's sort of interdimensional. But my point is, is he the only one, or is he a part of a species? I know you probably don't know, I'm yeah, just, I'm that's... wondering. I'll keep, I'll keep an eye on that, because that... Yeah. As if there's more than one directors, that could be... Good or bad, depending on. I don't know. I mean, we can't. I don't know if we can even conceive of that. If there is, I'm probably fucked, but I wouldn't even know. I don't so. know. <laughs> he might be a rogue or something. Yeah. He might meet the director Hitler, and then all the directors are just actually really chill people. Yeah. I've. I've looked around on YouTube a lot, mm -hmm. and I found a lot of other people that I don't know if they're just bullshitting. Like who? Like, I'm not gonna name any names here because I don't want to, like, okay. witch on anybody, but, like, there's a lot of. There's a lot of YouTube channels that post similarly to what I post, but a lot of them, like, stopped posting years ago. I'm not even sure if, like, the owners are still alive, huh. but, like, they all have extremely different ways of describing this thing. Well, but, um, yeah. I doubt yeah. whatever it is, it evolved in a humanoid form, so whatever exactly. it is, it probably changes form. Yeah, they, they just, like... Some of them are just drastically different from anything I've ever seen, but... Yeah, like... I'm just seeing if, like, the mask is some kind of, like, control thing that Robert used to go places. I don't know. It's possible. Yeah, he did have that one, like, pocket of existence that he said he owned. It was, like, the cottage or whatever. That was, like, his safe haven. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, like, I, I, I'll... I, I really... Yeah, I can let you know, though, when we decide to do that. We should okay. be doing it pretty soon. Um... That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to, like, make sure that we don't have any plans for, like, the surrounding week or so. Yeah. Just because, like, as you know, we've kind of gotten fucked over by... Right time. Yeah. yeah. Like, back all the way over in 2017 when I, like, oh, yeah, went to, like, Patton. You went back for, like, an hour or something. Uh, well, the first time I went missing for, like, two days. Oh, my God. So, like, my mom flipped her shit, but, um, no, I remember, uh, yeah, with the Lake Padden, like, the second visit to the Arboretum, I remember we got sent back, like, two hours. Have you ever considered, like, going to the authorities about this? I don't think they'd take it. Well, I mean, you just show them all the evidence you got. It, like, I was talking, I was talking with Paul about this, like, feds. I mean, if there's, like, well, there's two people dead. We're, we're in person missing. 
it's time for a military response. I just go in with tanks and I, I don't know. I'm kidding. Mainly, well, but there, there's the fact like nobody knew who Robert was. Uh, well, I mean, it sounds like you have a substantial amount of evidence. So I would go. Yeah. yeah. Like one one of the people that I know that was dead um, was killed by the person that went missing. So for all we know, they could be on the run, and the police are already hot on her tail, still trying to find her. Cause mm. The person that went missing? Julie. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They're still trying to find her. They can't find her ever, anywhere, but, like, they're at least on that front. And, like, when it comes to Paul, like, he was already suicidal as, like, a kid, from what I understand. Mm. So, like, you know, he had some, like, deep-seated issues, so this sounds kind of fucked up. I don't think anybody's really surprised that he did what he did. Yeah. Is anybody that knew him, but um, you know, like, I was talking about this with Paul when I first met him. Like, it's so easy for somebody to fake something like this. Like, it's, it's, an ordeal to get anybody to believe me when I post. Mm. I'm lucky you even believe me. Well, I mean, I'll have to say for myself in the end, but I mean, yeah, like, I don't really see a reason why. Why? Yeah, it's just like, it's like going to the police for like, a, a, for like a haunting on your house, you know? Yeah, but hauntings aren't real. This True, but... It is. I, yeah, I got you. I'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just kind of figured it was like, I would probably get in trouble for calling the police about this. Well, I mean, I mean you don't have to go to the police. I mean, like, go to like, it's got to be... Or like the men in black. <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. They should put that as an emergency contact. Yeah. All for paranormal. Yeah, the, the X-Files division. Mulder, Mulder and Strolly. Go talk to Mulder and Strolly. I wish. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, um... Yeah, like... I don't know. All I really have right now is just Eric... Eddie and you and Linda, so like, I'm just trying to figure out where to go next from here because it's been months and I still cannot find Julie. And right now, she's my only lead outside of like figuring out how to control the gateways. If I can control the gateways, then I could probably, like, I could probably get the upper hand in this. Well, who are you? I mean, against what? Are you fighting the director? I'm trying to survive his, like, reign on my life and those who I care about. <laughs> like, it's just hard, because... I mean... I feel like I'm constantly putting everybody in danger just by being around them at this point. Yeah, I'll find a way to kill him. I, I wish or there was a the way. Gateways. Yeah. Is he using the gateways, or is he able to just pop up anywhere? From what I've seen, he pops up anywhere. He's, like... I've never seen his way from powerful than like. So he's making his own gateways wherever he goes. I don't really know. I think he might just be like. I think he might just be traveling around here, honestly. Like. What do you mean? I think the gateways are just for people like Eric. Okay, so the gateways aren't for him. He doesn't have to use them. I would be surprised if they were. I'm not okay. pointing out like they aren't, but it seems like those are way more limited than what he uses. Is, has he been spotted like outside of Bellingham? Or like that's what those other channels oh. were about. It was like as if there was just a ripple here. Yeah, like if he was just around this town, um, that would be different. He just moved. <laughs> Yeah, like, if he was just, like, around one centralized area, like a Pennywise kind of thing. Yeah. Then, like, you just move. that would be interesting, but, um, if something's so extra-dimensional, then I can't really see it just, like, being on one, like, insignificant yeah. city on I-5. But I don't really know anything about this, so. Well, we gotta learn more about him. We gotta learn what he really is. Oh. His origins are. What? I, I just... Remembered something. What? Now, you remember that cult that Linda is like researching? Like the Northern yeah, Clarity what's it, Triad. What's it called? Yeah. It's like somehow related to your name. Northern Clarity Triad. Oh, okay. Is that where you, where did you got the, where did you get the name for your channel? Um, From that? Yeah, it's it's kind of an odd coincidence because like back in um. Oh, that's right, the band thing. Yeah, in 2016, oh, yeah. like Eric, uh, Julie, Daniel, and I were like, trying to start a band and. 
we wanted to make it like edgy and stuff, so we just kind of made it like, theory. yeah. But, so um, that's just a coincidence? Yeah, it's a complete coincidence. Because nobody like really heard of it before, so like we wanted to like make something kind of obscure. I didn't think it would tie back ever, but um. And probably some subconscious thing, but yeah. Okay, so but what about the cult? They weren't in Bellingham. They weren't an island near here. Oh well, it's still in the area, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, point. They're closer what? to Vancouver than Bellingham. Okay. But what what about them though? My point is just like they're not as centralized to Bellingham, I assume, because so the cult or. The director. I mean, the director. Oh, and, I see. Like the Wendigo and stuff, because. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta find out more about him. Yeah. Kill um, him. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about, but I think I've gotten everything out of the way. Yeah, just let me know when you, um, you and Eric go to the, uh, the, um, the gateways. I'll, I'll, I can tell on it and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I'll be sure to call you, uh, when I know when we're doing that. It's just, he's working right now, so he has to, like, yeah. find a week where he can, like, be safe from, like, missing work. Yeah, I'm done for anything, I don't care. Yeah, um... Where's Jason and I die? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you might want to, like, bring something with you, just to be safe. Like a weapon? Yeah. I don't know, I mean, I'll try, I, I... I think the only thing that would work is like some sort of um like a EM thing. Hmm. Electric magnetic thing. Like. But I don't. I don't think. I don't think like, an a actual weapon like a bolt, like a gun, or like a bat would work. But I'll bring something if you really want me to. I think like in case in case Eric goes apeshit on us. Oh, so, I see what you mean. Like, I don't have any hope of fighting the director, but like. I would probably put put together some like trank thing. Good, that would actually be a really good idea. Like if we could, if Eric goes berserk on us, trank him. Then, like maybe we could get the pursuer to talk. We could like yeah. try to tie him down or something, and try to get him to talk or something like that. Well, we'll just need a trank, and then I don't know, maybe something else. Like we just need to get him back to the real world, you know. Well, this will wait. See, well. The pursuer doesn't exist in the real world, though, so... I mean, like... Oh, I see what you mean. I mean, like, if we're using the gateways and that triggers it, then we'd have to get him back, but... Um... Yeah, like... Yeah, okay. I think... The main concern is... I, I'm i kind of finicky about bringing people along with gateway stuff, but it's the only safe way to do it. Just because of what happened to Paul. Because... Oh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm... I don't have any history of suicidal thoughts or anything, so... It's just the fact that he went missing for like seven months. Oh, I he honestly, missed seven months of normal like, time. Seven months in an altered dimension. Like, how often does that happen? I don't know. Well, true. But Maybe I keep. May, I again, like I said, worst case scenario, die. And yeah. I'm not okay with that. But I can live with that as a risk. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'll keep you posted. And. Yeah. If you have any more ideas, please let me know because I'm open to all suggestions.